So imagine you're going for a walk, okay? Imagine it's a beautiful day in the dreamscape. Now imagine you're a Panacone citizen. But then suddenly... Aventurine, the rich boy, the child of 2.0, the guy who, in a world where everything is possible from magic swords to death rays, chose to attack by throwing money on your head. In the storyline, he even gives you more money if you ask him to. Sadly, I missed to do that on my account. Heck, if Aventurine attacked me once, I would be able to afford higher production quality. TRANSITION! So, how do you play the Yellow Gambler? <laughs> well, I'm glad you asked. But I believe... A chip is worth a miracle. Aventurine is an imaginary preservation character. His basic attack straight bet drops a die and some coins on the enemy. His skill departs retirement paypals your whole team a surprisingly large shiny shield. This shield also stacks twice, so investing more gives you more. <laughs> Get it? Ah, wait. We're paying money to be safe. Wait, his skill is just insurance. His talent has two important parts. The first one gives allies 50% effect rest and himself crowd control immunity if either has a shield active. This is pretty much permanent. The second part is a follow-up attack that triggers at seven stacks. He gets them when enemies hit his shield. So enemies who can deal AoE damage just charge it super fast. The follow-up attack makes it rain money dealing damage seven times to a random enemy. He's literally paid to win. Activating his ultimate lets him play roulette and gives him a random amount of stacks for his follow-up attack from one to seven. So it could potentially fully charge again if you ult right after his follow-up. Then he deals a burst to a single target enemy, which also applies a debuff for three turns. The debuffed enemy receives 15% extra crit damage, so put this ult on the main big guy. His technique, the red or the black, lets him play slot machine. I don't know how the name is related, but okay. This grants his entire team either a small, medium or a large amount of defense at the start of the next fight. So you can literally gamble every time you have technique points. His traces are pretty cool. Here are some alternate titles. Defense equals crit rate. Free shield when the battle starts. And team him up with follow-up allies. If you want to cosplay Aventurine or if you're an IPC member, then you might be interested in his Eidolons. Team crit buff. His basic attack is now useful. Any E3. Even better follow-up. Any E5. And he's the DPS now. For Alex, he's super flexible, so you can go any 4-piece and 2-piece combination of these sets. For tankiness, go this. For damage, you can add this for his ultimate, this for his follow-up, or even the imaginary set. For ornaments, this or this are currently his best options. Try to get a defense body, speed or defense boots, defense or imaginary ball, and defense rope. Since he deals a surprising amount of damage, you want to look for crit substats. Conquer Cyril does have a trend where they release best in slot relic sets after the character has been released, so it might be worth to not full invest into relics yet until the next update. For light cones, his signature is incredibly good, but for F2P, any of these are really solid options too. For his team, follow-up allies are his best bet. DPS like Dr. Ratio, Topaz and Clara are his best pairs. Or if you have any of these build. Man, he's gonna be great in Pure Fiction with Erudition. I would make this video longer, but it looks like we are running short on budget. 